How's it going everyone? AFC Fitness here and we are at the famous Theatre of Dreams. We're here to see Manchester United women take on Aston Villa women in the Super League. I'm very excited, second uh, Super League game I've been to this season. Last time Aston Villa won 4-3 at Villa Park. Since Villa are here today I expect plenty more goals. I guess he likes of Mary Earps, Alicia Russo, Nikita Paris, Ella Toon, Rachel Daly, Plenty of stars on Euro 22. Tom kindly sorted the tickets. How much did we pay? It was six quid. And that was the same for tickets as for parking. Absolute bargain day. You excited? Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's have a stroll round. All right then, we'll just buy the player's entrance. Let's see if we can meet some stars. Typical, we were there for about half an hour waiting. And then when the Man United coach got there, another coach blocked it off so we couldn't even bloody see anyone. Good job we're seeing them in the stadium at least. Time for a circuit? Yeah. Let's do it. Shanda two has more kickoff. Sir Alex watches on. The turnout is huge. There's the Holy Trinity. And there's the Matlinsby. Look at that. It's wonderful. <laughs> Nice. The store was absolute hell, packed to the rim. So I looked down the Munich Tunnel pair of specs. Yeah. The eternal flame continues to flicker. Right then, so it seems like it's going to be a fun day. Big turnout, very fun, friendly atmosphere. We're about to go inside the Theatre of Dreams, but before we do, let's find out about today's home team, Manchester United Women. From the 1970s to the early 2000s, a team called Manchester United Supporters Club Ladies existed and were unofficially considered the club's women's team. In 2011, they formed a partnership with Manchester United, but were disbanded in 2005 after Malcolm Glazer took over the club and felt the women's side held no value for the Red Devils as a business. In 2018, Manchester United decided to bring back a women's team and the side joined the FWA Women's Championship. Their first game back, was a 1-0 win over Liverpool in the League Cup, and a few weeks later, they beat Aston Villa 12-0. Their maiden season ended in joy, as they sealed promotion to a Women's Super League by winning the Championship title, sealed in style with a 7-0 win over Crystal Palace. They finished in fourth place in their first season in the top flight, after the season was cut short thanks to lockdown. They played at Old Trafford for the first time in March 2021, defeating West Ham 2-0, and after a promising start to the season under head coach Mark Skinner, and with England stars such as Ella Toon, Alicia Russo and Mary Earps in their side, hopes are high that they can soon claim their first major honour. Overall, they have won one FA Women's Championship. And a bit of trivia, the Red Devils hold the record points tally for the Women's Championship, reaching 55 after winning all but two of their games in their first season back as a team. So those are our hosts, Manchester United Women. Let's have a look inside their home for today, Old Trafford. Just cannot be beaten. Cannot be beaten. Here we are, got a good view. I've sat in the Sir Alex Ferguson stand once, but it was all the way up there at the top. How are you feeling, Tom? You excited? Yeah. Got your Manchester pie? No. Oh, was it? It's a co cottage pie. A cottage pie, can't be beaten, that's delicious, that stuff. Is it any good? Much better than the burger we got outside. She is very hurts. The Euro superstars. Potato and broccoli pie. I actually managed to get the last one. Let's give it a go. Oh, bag. I just about accept for level of spice. Manchester United line up this afternoon. In goal number 27.
It's over 10 minutes in, the ball came into box, it went loose. Katie Selham has put it in. Manchester United take the lead, 1-0. We have a brass band in the Stratford end. Something I never thought I'd see. Great kick to Manchester United. Manchester United doubled their lead. Leah Goldson has played four on goal. She's dinked it beyond the keeper. They doubled their lead. Might still be three points already. Two now. <laughs> Half time at Old Trafford. It's 2 0. It's a very fair effect to the scoreline. Man United have been on top. It could be more. Aston Villa haven't really been in it. I'd be very surprised if this doesn't finish with a Man United win. But you never know, football's a funny old game. Half time, Manchester United 2, Aston Villa 0. Manchester United make it three. Ella two down the right hand side, whips it in. And Alicia Russo has slots it into net. They've linked up everything this, they always do. And Manchester United have their third. Four nil to Manchester United. Came to battle on the right hand side. She had a shot, it bounced off the bar, the post. We thought it trickled out, but it went into net. Manchester United have the cherry on top. Four nil. Look at that. 30,000 people have come out today. Incredible. The dying seconds of the game, battles ran down the right hand side again. She's whipped it in and it was an easy finish for Williams. 5 0 to Manchester United. Manchester United win 5 0, an incredibly confident victory. It was never in doubt. Any chances Villa had, Mary Up snuffed them out, and Ella Toon tore them to shreds. Three important points to Manchester United as they are well and truly in the title race. I'm sure Aston Villa will recover, but for now, Manchester United have sealed a very comprehensive win 5 0. That was Old Trafford, my favourite place to watch football in the world. And what a fantastic afternoon that was. Manchester United tearing them to shreds. Really brilliant performance. And we got to see some more stars in the Euros. Fantastic to see the likes of Russo, Toon, Paris, and uh, so along with the others I saw when I went to Villa last time. But absolutely fantastic to see 30,000 people um, turn up to you know the biggest club stadium in the country it truly shows that the momentum the women's game has gained is still going and it's going to keep going as well so what a fantastic afternoon for all those players dreaming of playing at the theatre of dreams they can now say they've done that and i'm sure they'll be back but absolutely fantastic afternoon thank you to maldo for notes um for finding that fixture only six quid we've paid I don't know what that is per goal, but <laughs> six quid, five goals. And something interesting, we went to Manchester United against Club Bruges in 2020. The only other time we've been to Game Old Trafford together. The score there was 5-0. So we seem to be a good luck charm. Love coming to Old Trafford. We'll be back here soon, I'm sure. Thank you all for watching. That was Manchester United Women versus Aston Villa Woman. What a day.